Hello ladies and gentlemen, I'm uh, Manelos Cotolaris and uh, today I'm going to present you how you can easily use a level file set which is basically a data structure for storing and retrieving tile images efficiently and in my thesis I describe uh, how it works in more detail and uh, how someone can implement it so in this video I'm going to show you how easy, how easy it is to use a level file set within your own Tile, uh, web tile management framework and so basically uh, the level files of the way it works is um, instead of retrieving tiles uh, as images so say you have a tile uh, tile uh, data set here so you can see that you can you can have all these tile data sets for visualization so and those are some great JPEG images so instead of having JPEG images, you'll have a random access files. So each random access, you have two uh, random access files within each level, and the one holds the pointers, and the other holds the actual raw pixel data. So basically, um, this uh, this uh, video will showcase how how easy it is for someone uh, from the way we implemented it to actually use a level file set. So basically, um, you have a you have a, all we all the level files that requires is basically the the file names so where uh, are your files located and where do you want them to be so say and the, we have this enum uh, class here named file names and you can build it through the builder pattern and you define here uh, your file so in my case i have stored my tile data set within the this file path and then uh, also image block because uh, we also implemented another data structure called image block that's another um, data structure so this enum contains all the file names and this is just in case a file is missing so the fulfillment algorithm which I also happen to explain in the my thesis documentation uh, can fulfill the missing tile data set so basically you have all these files here and you have the file names then uh, you can easily you can easily um, build your level file set. So let's remove those lines and we'll add them to later. So basically, we if, if in case we want to build the level file set, all we have to do is uh, say new level file set builder, pass the file names, and then build the actual file that uh, data structure. So let's see what happens if we run this program. So as you can see. It generates the level files. Why? It's because uh, it's the first time, so we have we have no level files at the moment. So when it detects that there is no level level files actively on your system, then it generates a level file set. So as you can see here, our folder was null, but now it contains images, and um, of course it takes time because for the ten zoom levels, uh, eleven zoom levels, we have approximately. A million and uh, a thousand twenty-six uh, images. So as you can imagine, it takes quite some time. And as you can see here, uh, we also have a status, so we can see how much, how much efficiently, uh, where, where its current status is. And now, as you can see, it generates for the level file, uh, for the zoom level nine. So this, of course, takes uh, quite a few minutes. I'm gonna fast forward it to when it, when it's done, so we can see how after the tile generation we can actually print tiles uh, on our screen. So I'm gonna fast forward uh, the video until this process is done. Okay, so so basically we have these uh, level files and what we can do uh, in order to access them now, so as we can see here we have all the level files and the tile data file for 11 zoom levels. Now we have this and basically we want to retrieve a tile. How we can do this? How easy it is? So we can write tile tile and then we can say level files dot get get tile. So it's very very simple, very straightforward. You and you can name here um, you can name here the, the desired tile and it tells you basically you, you insert the level, then you insert the column and then you insert the row tile data set. And then you can use from utilities.print tile. So um, in this case, you can uh, output a tile, a desired tile. So if we run this program, and since now it has the actual tiles, as you can see, we have the visualization of the first tile. It's very straightforward. 
Um, you can either change here, and you can use the first uh, the first call, the first level, and then use the level file set again. So it's very straightforward for the developer to use. And basically, on underlying system, on the underlying system, we have a bunch of uh, methods uh, called and computations and uh, so on going on. But the developer doesn't need to know. The user doesn't need to know. Basically, all the all he has to do is call the get tile. And then we we simply retrieve uh, we simply find and retrieve uh, the desired tile, and we found out in our research that the level file set is approximately 3.3 .3, up to 3.3 .3 times faster than a simple format and 1.5 times faster than a much block, of, and of course it works for a cloud-based solution as well as Google Cloud, as we recently tested. So it's a really interesting uh, approach and uh, idea to problem uh, solving especially when dealing with a very large uh, data set so I explain of course more uh, details in my uh, thesis uh, documentation but uh, this was a brief uh, a brief video of how easy it is to actually use a level file set and uh, I'm uh, very glad to show you and uh, hopefully you like the idea and uh, you'll use a level file set on, on one point so this was Manelos and uh, thank you very much for your attention thank you